I'm George Lepp, Canon Explorer of Light, professional nature outdoor photographer. We're here in Silver Falls State Park in Oregon, and we've got all kinds of subjects around us here uh, in the woods, Cascade Mountains, and this is a great place to show you all the capabilities of the new 5DS, 5DSR cameras, 50.6 megapixels. Macro photography is about taking small subjects and blowing them up big so we can see the details. And what better way to do it than with a camera such as this? We also have some of the tools here that are gonna allow us to do this. Uh, we're gonna start with a 180 millimeter macro lens. It gives us working distance of about that far. If you don't wanna be too close to your subject or if that scares the subject like a butterfly or something like that, this is the lens to use. We can put a flash on it if we need to, to open up the darker areas, but mostly it's about working distance. The second lens here is the 100 millimeter macro f2.8. A fairly new lens to Canon, one of the very sharpest lenses that Canon makes. And we can clip the flashes to this, put it on the camera. We don't have that much working distance, but the details that this lens will produce are just amazing. It's a wonderful lens from that standpoint. If you want to get closer, this is the 1x to 5x. This is the MPE 65mm macro lens, very unique to Canon. Closed like this, it's 1x by racking it out a little bit here. We're at 5x. Put a flash on the front of it, such as the flash that we have here, which is the MT24EX. Two little small flashes, clips to the front of it. The batteries and brains are in this part of it, fits on top of the camera. One of the other tools we need to work with here, you can see I have knee pads on my knee. The ground is not soft, and it'll make your photography a little bit easier. We also have here a zoom telephoto lens. This is the 100 to 400 series two lens that Canon has recently come out with, and it now focuses to 3.2 feet. So with all of these tools and all of these subjects around us, we can now go ahead and show you some examples. I found two iris in the shade, one in front of the other. I wanted the front one to be nice and sharp and the back one to go out of focus very quickly. So I took a 100 to 400 zoom, the new Canon series two, and it focuses down to 3.2 feet, so I'm using 400 millimeters, and boy, that really throws the background out of focus nicely. At about f5.6, you have a very small area of depth of field, and the end result is a sharp image and a nice, soft, repetitive flower in the background. The anthill is a great example of presetting your magnification, your shutter speed, and your strobes moving in and out until the ants come into focus and I had it set for 2x. I'm using the 1x to 5x 65 millimeter lens. Now I could be further away by using a 180 millimeter macro but that won't give me the magnification that I want. Now being in close gives me the bigger shot but at the same time you know maybe they're gonna jump on the camera maybe they're gonna bite us but it's worth the shot. The whole reason for using the Canon EOS 5 DSR is to get as much information and resolution as possible. So we have this fern design that is really beautiful, but we want the whole fern to be sharp and we don't really want the background to be sharp that it gets too busy. So what I've done is I've set the camera for f5.6, which is a very small increment of sharpness. I then slightly move the focusing on the lens in a number of increments going towards the back of the subject. Now I have a whole series of images all overlapping and I stop before I get to the background. I take all of these images into my software, which is Zareen Stacker or Helicon Focus. That particular software throws away everything that is out of focus and keeps everything that's in focus. The ending result is a very sharp fern and a very out of focus background, which gives us the kind of look for this design that we really want. I hope this has given you some new ideas on macro photography techniques in the field and the use of the 5DS and 5DSR cameras to capture the very finest detail possible. This new equipment is really exciting for all nature photographers to capture the very best images possible.